Alexis Ramirez. It's been a long ass time. Fuck. <laughs> Where do I start? Um, so I've actually been on hormones for about a year and five months. I am transgender. I am male to female. And um, as you can honestly tell, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm fucking ditzy. Um, it's been a fucking crazy year and five months i'm gonna be six months by the beginning of february i think january i know actually i'm on six six months what the fuck <laughs> a year and six months um but it's been a fucking journey um i definitely have changed a lot um my face has def my fat distribution has moved all over the place my hips my boobs my face especially my face you guys my face has changed a lot i'd say um the way i do my makeup also like has just kind of switched um the way i talk kind of has switched as well um it's not an easy process but it's definitely something i'm really happy that i was able to do um i'd say i'm on i believe it's I'm on like 0.4 milligrams of estrogen, I think. I don't remember. I'm taking the vitals now. And I'll do a video on how to take, like how to do your shots and shit. But um, honestly, once I switched over from the pills to the, to the shots, it honestly started changing me immediately. Like I got a little bit more chunkier. I got a little more feminine. And it made my emotions go all over the fucking place like i still get them here and there when um because i have to take them every week so once i like stop taking them for at least a day or so like you know how you have to take them every week once every week if i don't take it the day i'm supposed to take it like i start to feel ballistic and crazy and dysphoric about like my face and everything i don't know why but it just it happens um i mean surgeries are definitely what have helped me with some of my dysphoria like my body dysmorphia like i'd say mainly was like my chest area and i got a breast augmentation done about a month two months ago it's gonna go on to three now and i'm absolutely happy with the results and i don't know i'm just like really excited for what's to come like surgery wise um my next procedure is probably going to be my FFS, my facial feminization surgery. And I don't know, I don't know, like I'm kind of scared. I've been wanting to try filler, but like, you know, I'd rather save that money for FFS than filler, but I don't know, I guess we'll see. Cause it's very scary and invasive and it just makes me very nervous to talk about it. But overall, through the hormones, if you're ready to start, girl, find an anachronologist or a doctor, like a hospital near you, and ask them if they know about hormonal uh, HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy. Um, don't hesitate. And I mean, not every place is going to be that easy to get the medication, but I would definitely recommend that if you feel some type of way about yourself and you know that who you truly are, like... I definitely would, would advise you to do it and don't per procrastinate and don't do it for others do it for yourself and do it because you want to be happy but it's not an easy road and it's been hard even to this day like I still get clocked and shit and it's fucking scary I've gotten in some very like scary dangerous um, situations um, and I'll be talking about that in a future video but just know that it's not easy for any of us and no matter how feminine or whatever the fuck we are like we still get shit you know um i don't know it's it's scary and it's a you have to have tough skin so you know do what you gotta do but always have tough skin because people are always gonna voice their opinion when it comes to you being trans and just stand your ground and be that bitch be that person be that 
trans man or be the trans woman you want to be or the non-binary that you want to be <laughs> but just have tough skin that's my advice to you dating wise you will find love um you know i've already had two relationships um when i first started i literally didn't think i would find anybody because i had gone through so much heartbreaks and so much like things I guess with people because I don't know I wasn't comfortable with myself when it came to dating um but as I as soon as I transitioned like I started to see that it was a little bit different I mean we still struggle but you will find somebody if you really show them who you are and not front that's my advice to you just be yourself um I was with a trans guy for my first relationship and that was about four or five months six months I think um right now I'm on my fifth month with a cisgender male <laughs> um and I'm extremely happy um he takes care of me so well and he's so sweet and I'm really happy with what's what's happening in my life um I'd say like my advice is just to be yourself always and no matter what, there's always going to be people that are going to talk about you and mistreat you and society, work. Work is really hard sometimes because they don't want to address you the way you feel, you know, and the way you are and who you really are. Sometimes they just want to address you by your legal name and that's bullshit. But I always recommend to do your research anywhere you are. Look for all like ways to get your name changed there's ways for you to not pay and get it changed there's ways for you to pay and get it changed i had to pay for mine to get it changed and it was the best decision i've ever made and the best investment i've ever made because this is me like this is me and i'm so happy to be able to live the way i do and the way and the person that i am because not everybody can you know um other than that i'd say it's a fucking roller coaster and everyone's gonna experience completely different things it's life but i'm just saying it's not an easy road and i'd say really think about it my family really does support me now and like in the beginning they were a little like iffy about it because they weren't sure you know what was going on but now that they've been able to see that i've been making changes and I've been, you know, very dedicated and working hard for who I was and standing up for who I was. Like, they respect me so much. And the first people that, like, supported me were my baby nieces, a little five-year-old and a seven-year-old. And, like, they started, they started calling me Alexis and Auntie and it just warmed up my heart. And I can, I can say that once you've reached a certain point of your transition, you're gonna look back at everything. You're gonna be like, damn, I did that. And like, I always say stay humble because you never know who you're gonna encounter in your transition or what's going to go on. The people that are your friends right now may not be your friends in once you transition. Um, and it's happened to me in my personal experience, but you know, I always say just do what you, what you want to do and don't look back. Don't ever look back at your old progress. Or even if you want to remind yourself of who you are, like look back just to see. But you know, it's amazing and it's a beautiful thing and I'm really happy that I did. And I'd say that biggest craziest thing that happened to me was weight gain because I was literally 120 pounds but then after hormones I was like <gasps> and girl she thick <laughs> but no like I'm really happy I'm really happy that I'm finally able to be myself I've always been this woman since I was little like since I can remember I was just always told I couldn't be what I wanted to be and it crushed me and it confused me and I was just always, I knew that I wasn't supposed to do it but 
it's because of what people told me and honestly I've always been this way but powering off the fuck <laughs> But anyways, I love you guys so much. I just wanted to update you guys on my life. It's been a fucking roller coaster, and I know I talked really fast, but I love you guys. <laughs>